choose always the way that seems the best, however rough it may be, custom will soon render it easy and agreeable. Educate the children, and it won't be necessary to punish the men. As long as man continues to be the ruthless destroyer of lower living beings, he will never know health or peace. For as long as men massacre animals, they will kill each other. Indeed, he who sows the seed of murder and pain cannot reap joy and love. Take not thine enemy for thy friend, nor thy friend for thine enemy. Disbelieve nothing wonderful concerning the gods, nor concerning divine dogmas. Let not sleep fall upon my eyes, till thou hast thrice reviewed the transactions of the past day. Where have I turned aside from rectitude? What have I been doing? What have I left undone, which I ought to have done? Begin thus from the first act, and proceed, and, in conclusion, at the ill which thou hast done, be troubled, and rejoice for the good. A blow from your friend is better than a kiss from your enemy. Rest satisfied with doing well and leave others to talk of you as they please. Work at these things, practice them, these are the things you ought to desire, they are what will put you on the path of divine virtue, yes, by the one who entrusted our soul with the Tetractes, source of ever-flowing nature. Pray to the gods for success and get to work. The most momentous thing in human life is the art of winning the soul to good or to evil. Govern your tongue before all other things, following the gods. By the air which I breathe, and by the water which I drink, I will not endure to be blamed on account of this discourse. Nothing perishes in this world, but things merely vary and change their form. To be born means simply that a thing begins to be something, different from what it was before, and dying is ceasing to be the same thing. Yet, although nothing retains long the same image, the sum of the whole remains constant. Many words befall men, mean and noble alike, do not be astonished by them, nor allow yourself to be constrained. If a lie is told, bear with it gently. But whatever I tell you, let it be done completely. Let no one persuade you by word or deed to do or say whatever is not best for you. Dispose thy soul to all good and necessary things. Remind yourself that all men assert that wisdom is the greatest good, but that there are few who strenuously seek out that greatest good. Dear youths, I warn you cherish peace divine, and in your hearts lay deep these words of mine. Happy is that city that hath a wise man to govern it. A good soul hath neither too great joy, nor too great sorrow, for it rejoiceth in goodness, and it sorroweth in wickedness. By the means whereof, when it beholdeth all things, and seek the good and bad so mingled together, it can neither rejoice greatly, nor be grieved with overmuch sorrow. Despise all those things which when liberated from the body, you will not want, invoke the gods to become your helpers. 
when a reasonable soul forsaketh his divine nature, and becometh beast-like, it dieth. For though the substance of the soul be incorruptible, yet, lacking the use of reason, it is reputed dead, for it lost seth the intellect of life. Reason not with him, that will deny the principal truths. Order thyself so, that thy soul may always be in good estate, whatsoever become of thy body. Those alone are dear to divinity, who are hostile to injustice. Most men and women, by birth or nature, lack the means to advance in wealth and power, but all have the ability to advance in knowledge. It is requisite to defend those, who are unjustly accused of having acted injuriously, but to praise those who excel in a certain good. Thou shalt likewise know that according to law, the nature of this universe is in all things alike. It is only necessary to make war with five things, with the maladies of the body, the ignorances of the mind, with the passions of the body, with the seditions of the city, and the discords of families. Honor wisdom, and deny it not to them that would learn, and shew it unto them that dispraise it. Sound not the sea fields. Friends are as companions on a journey, who ought to aid each other to persevere in the road to a happier life. Man know thyself, then thou shalt know the universe and God. Number is the ruler of forms and ideas, and the cause of gods and demons. There is no word or action but has its echo in eternity. Thought is an idea in transit, which when once released, never can be lured back, nor the spoken word recalled. Nor ever can the overt act be erased, all that thou thinkest, sayest, or doest bears perpetual record of itself, enduring for eternity. Know that death comes to everyone, and that wealth will sometimes be acquired, sometimes lost. Whatever griefs mortals suffer by divine chance, whatever destiny you have, endure it and do not complain. But it is right to improve it as much as you can, and remember this. Fate does not give very many of these griefs to good people. Envy has been, is, and shall be, the destruction of many. What is there, that envy hath not defamed, or malice left undefiled? Truly, no good thing. When going to the temple, to adore divinity neither say nor do anything in the interim pertaining to the common affairs of life. If thou intend to do any good, tarry not till tomorrow, for thou knowest not what may chance thee this night. The best and greatest winning is a true friend and the greatest loss is the loss of time. He is worst of all, that is malicious against his friends. A fool is known by his speech, and a wise man by silence. Sobriety is the strength of the soul for it preserves its reason unclouded by passion. We ought so to behave to one another, as to avoid making enemies of our friends, and at the same time to make friends of our enemies. 
Tell not abroad what thou intendest to do, for if thou speed not, thou shalt be mocked. None can be free who is a slave to, and ruled by, his passions. It is not proper either to have a blunt sword, or to use freedom of speech ineffectually. Neither is the sun to be taken from the world, nor freedom of speech from erudition. The king that followeth truth, and ruleth according to justice, shall reign quietly, but he that doth the contrary, seeketh another to reign for him. It is better whither to be silent, or to say things of more value than silence. Sooner throw a pearl at hazard than an idle or useless word, and do not say a little in many words, but a great deal in a few. Assist a man in raising a burden, but do not assist him in laying it down. If there be light, then there is darkness, if cold, heat, if height, depth, if solid, fluid, if hard, soft, if rough, smooth, if calm, tempest, if prosperity, adversity, if life, death. The learning of many things does not teach intelligence. Holding fast to these things, you will know the worlds of gods, and mortals which permeates, and governs everything. And you will know, as is right, nature similar in all respects, so that you will neither entertain unreasonable, hopes nor be neglectful of anything. Meditate upon my counsels, love them, follow them, to the divine virtues will they know how to lead thee. I swear it by the one, who in our hearts engraved the sacred tetrad, symbol immense and pure, source of nature and model of the gods. A wound from a tongue, is worse than a wound from a sword, for the latter affects only the body, the form of the spirit. Do not even think of doing what ought not to be done. Wisdom thoroughly learned will never be forgotten. Science is got by diligence, but discretion and wisdom cometh of God. True and perfect friendship is to make one heart and mind of many hearts and bodies. As soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom. Truth is so great a perfection, that if God would render himself visible to men, he would choose light for his body, and truth for his soul. When the wise man opens his mouth, the beauties of his soul present themselves to the view, like the statues in a temple. Use examples, that such as thou teachest may understand thee the better. Practice justice in word and deed, and do not get in the habit of acting thoughtlessly about anything. There are men and gods, and beings like Pythagoras. It is difficult to walk at one, in the same time many paths of life. Having departed from your house, turn not back, for the Furies will be your attendants. By silence, the discretion of a man is known and a fool, keeping silence, seemeth to be wise. 
neither will the horse be adjudged to be generous, that is sumptuously adorned, but the horse whose nature is illustrious, nor is the man worthy who possesses great wealth, but he whose soul is generous. If thy fellows hurt thee in small things, suffer it, and be as bold with them. Declining from the public ways, walk in unfrequented paths. The oldest, shortest words, yes and no, are those which require the most thought, 